Okay. <clears throat> this can border on arrogance for liberals. Can liberals really ensure condoms work? Now what happens is, what happens whenever they tell you how safe it is or it's more safe, it used to be safe sex and it's, it's called safer sex and those kind of stuff, so they're admitting to their flaw. And um, what happens whenever you get AIDS? Can they give you a refund and uninfect you? That's the real question to ask. Can they give you a refund and uninfect you? See, when you go to Walmart and you buy a radio, you come back home and the radio doesn't work. You simply bring the broken radio back to Walmart and they replace it with one that works. And then you got your working radio. Liberals tell you that you're safe or safer with condoms to have sex with someone who might uh, have AIDS. And so, you get AIDS, can they give you a refund and uninfect you? That's the question to ask. They're guaranteeing a product they can't back up. I mean, that's, that's what's really going on here. Um, I got into it with a little bit of one of my other videos about the chances of getting AIDS. Uh, your chances of getting AIDS are remote because uh, you look at the people who have AIDS in America in the minority and then it's possible, as I've been told, to uh, have sex with someone with AIDS and you're not guaranteed to get it or that might be outdated information, but as I was remember uh, in some research. Yeah, if you only plan to have sex one time in your life, but every time you have sex, the odds go up. If you have a 1 in 100 chance of something happening to you, but you do it 100 times it's going to happen to you so uh this is something that i we've never i've never seen anyone make this point ever liberal or conservative now there's a bogus study about uh what doesn't influence teen sex and this kind of stuff what influences someone's sexual behavior is so complex and so involved it's arrogant for anyone to be simple about it to, to look at any kind of simplistic context. They had one show they were trying to educate young kids about uh, safe sex and uh, I think it was like a group of second graders and they say now what are we telling you about sex and all the kids go in unison always use a condom and so they were trying to respond to some of their critics that <clears throat> it makes kids sexually active so they asked the second graders is this making you want to have sex and they all shake their head no wait a minute whoa you are going to ask a second grader to psychoanalyze themselves at that given point and expect to have accurate results? It's far more complex than that. It's far more than just some outright conscious process. And oh, finally, um, I've made this point. I'm not going to go to a bunch of white kids and say, I never want you to lynch a black man, but here's the noose. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work with something racist. It doesn't work with condoms. You don't say that teen sex or premarital sex is wrong, but here's the condom. It's don't use a condom, get AIDS, and die. A little bit of a <clears throat> harsher message, okay? Gets the point across. Now, uh, for, you, for those of you saying that I'm heartless, no, you're the one who are heartless because you're the one sending them to their death. Because you can't prove that once you start allowing sex that more of it happens in society. Because whenever you relax morality, more boinking happens. And AIDS is spreading because of you guys, not because of me. So, there you go. Uh, flame yet your will. I'll, I'll ignore what you say anyway. <laughs>